Had a whiskey again. It's expensive. Taking a, taking a week off. It's comics and shots. A completely improvised semi-comedic musing. By Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd, a.k.a. YouTube and TikTok's Mick the Man. A.k.a. Mick the Maverick, a.k.a. The star of a comedy short that just finally got over 3,000 views. It's basically throwing darts at the wall with, with, with remix videos and stitch videos. I keep trying. All you hope is for the algorithm to be nice. That's all you can do. That's my random bit of advice. Hope the algorithm will be nice to you. Meow. Today's subject, Adrian Toomes the Vulture. One of the first main Spider-Man villains. I think he is the first. One of the most badass and ruthless Spider-Man villains. And why you think he's a joke. Don't worry, I'm not here to diss you. Marvel, um, does it do him the best a lot of times. Like, recently there was a two-part story where it's like, the Vulture has, like, is confronted by his granddaughter, Starling, Tiana Tombs. On the subject, he has a granddaughter and a grandson. We see the granddaughter all the time, but I don't know where the grandson is. Is he dead? Is he living upstate? What's happening? And he didn't even have a name. He just fell into the ether. What's going on there? Yeah. She confronted him about his multiple murders, which I'm like, I, I don't know how many people he murdered. He murdered several, but you go on the wiki, it says he only officially has one victim, but I know that's wrong. Yeah, he has one victim um, with a name, that's it. Yeah, and so like, he wearing his basic ass harness just attacks Spider-Man, you know, revenge, because he figures that, he thinks that he told Starling about everything, and he's just wearing the basic suit, and that's too much for Parker. Parker, you've taken this guy out like a million times, and this is a surprise for you? To be fair though, Peter Parker is like off his game in this run. He took a six month sabbatical after a, a weird six month sabbatical. They've had the, the uh, terrible time skip, it made no sense. Yeah, and like, then Peter went to Oscorp to get a suit upgrade, and then he was able to beat the Vulture, and it's like, you didn't need that upgrade. But Vulture definitely did. Here's the thing. I'm not saying Vulture's a bad villain, but I am saying that his suit and technology gets a little repetitive. He doesn't really upgrade it that much. So he goes to different weapons, but... He doesn't upgrade it that much. The one story, Marvel Knights Spider-Man, where, like, he tells everybody that his new suit was upgraded 500% by Norman Osborn, and then Black Cat just kicks his ass, and he's like, I've looked at the stats. Vulture, 700 pounds. Black Cat, 800 pounds of lifting at normal base level, and if the Vulture's suit was upgraded 500% he should have been able to beat Black Cat, but as shown by what happened, either Black Cat's confusing probability manipulation powers messed it up, or Goblin lied. But let's talk about the real issue here, Adrian. Why are you asking Norman Osborn to fix your suit? You have PhDs in electronics and engineering. Go to the drawing board. Mix it up, baby. Why are you going to... Why are you outsourcing? Or sing? Who are you, Dr. Draken? No, you are Adrian Goddamn Tombs. When you rose back from death's store, you broke Blackie Drago out of jail, gave him your spare wingsuit equal in capability to yours, and kicked the shit out of him. You broke a guy out of jail just to kick his ass. And that's when I knew you were one of my favorites. Yeah. Basically, it all depends on, like, the writer. If I was doing Spider-Man, I want to do all the classic Sinister Six and my takes on them. And have them step it up a notch. Because, honestly, like, 
Zeb well, Spider-Man has its moments. I should more, more accurately say the 2022 run. Jill Kelly writes some stuff in there, too, and I think he's getting it next, but... A lot of the six don't feel like they're living up to their potential. Especially last son of Craven, who's just... I, I don't care about him. I don't care about Craven that much. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, but Vulture, so much potential, and he's just squandering it with his basic bag of tricks that he's been using since Peter Parker was 15 to 17 years old. I say 15 to 17 because they retconned it. Originally, he was like a senior in high school, and then they made him a freshman, and I'm not sure if the timeline works there, but it is what it is. At least I think that's what happened. Either way, Zeb, it's not too late. Well, for this one it is. But if you or anyone else in the future do something cool with the Vulture, I'll be happy. I'm not saying you gotta ketonize him, but I'm not saying you don't have to not ketonize him either. You could do something with him. Maybe have, like, have a story where he tries to find his grandson. And, like, tries to atone for his sins, but fail. It's like with Otto, it's like it's sad when he fails at atoning for his sins. With the Vulture, though, he's not crazy. He's not cursed. He's a guy who got screwed over by his business partner, screwed him over back, and then just kept going to crime. Didn't try to, like, you know, make a new invention with a new partner or something. He is who he is because he makes the wrong calls. And maybe in that way it's a bit it, appropriate that he doesn't upgrade his equipment that much because he just figures, hey, if it worked a little bit at the beginning, why do I have to improve it that much? But maybe an introspective vulture would be good too. I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. With that, like, comment, and subscribe. Donate if you're feeling nice. Share it with a bear. And I always remember... Praise be to the Blood Elk, Fear the Stabopotamus, and Death the Kronos. <sighs> Chicken beets broccoli and black rice fried. Very good. I probably should have fried the beets longer. They were they were hard. Hot beets, baby, yeah. Mm. Good though. Have a night, folks. <laughs>